Hi, and welcome to Channel Shift. I'm Rob D'Amico alongside Michelle Rahal. This is what I like to call news and rumors. And I got this really juicy rumor about Rahal. And I'm going <laughs> to... And it includes Danica Patrick. It's all true. He only <laughs> wishes, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's talk a little news and rumors, though. You got Danica Go Patrick it. visiting Stuart Haas Racing. Is yep. this a visit to his team, or is it a look inside the Hendrick Garage? It's a look inside the Hendrick Garage. He is absolutely sizing up what may be a good place to go. And it looks for all the world to the IRL teams like that's what she's doing. It's this contract negotiation. She's won one IndyCar race. We've got Montoya. We've got Frank Keedy. We've got A.J. Allmendinger. You have all these drivers with the open wheel experience who have won numerous races and have some of them titles. I mean, God knows. And she's looking at running in a Hendrick car when we got Dale Earnhardt Jr. running in what, 15th? No, I mean, and it points, it's worse than that, man. He's out of the top 20. Right, I mean, he's barely gotten to 15th running in the regular, just in a regular race. I mean, the, the point is, she's not going to do it. What good is she going to do running around in 30th place? I don't care what she's driving. Well, I look at the IRL. I look at guys like uh, Scott Dixon. Uh, you, know, you mentioned him earlier, uh, Dario Franchitti. Right. These guys are begging her, please don't go. Because if she goes, that's it for those guys. They are done. They can't carry that over there like she is. It's not a matter of whether they can carry the Indy Racing League or not. The Indy Racing League's got to carry its damn self. The thing has become what it did. It was never intended to be. They always wanted Tony George spent. A fortune defeating champ car to no avail. What happened? The economy bit them. And they ended up, now they've ended up with a bunch of cars that are old. They are. The technology in these cars has just been maxed out. The parity is too great. I mean, the only thing, what they're great at right now is road racing, which is where they need to stay. That's where they need to be. And they need to have personalities like Tracy in the mix. But as far as her leaving... She hadn't won anything anyway. Yeah, Who cares? I, I couldn't agree with you more with personalities. I think in all sports, even in NASCAR, with the personalities you have, you got guys like uh, Kyle Busch. I think you need guys like that in the series. And I also want to look at super teams with Danica moving over here. The only way she would move over here is if she goes to one of those super mega teams that we're What's seeing right left? now. That's the question we have to ask ourselves. We have Hendrick. Everybody wants Hendrick. We've got two Toyota teams that are sitting out there that could combine and become a super team. Then you have the Dodges. So what you really have is the, the manufacturers are represented by one super team, and that is the liaison for the manufacturer. It just seems to make it makes it cheaper. Unfortunately, it's typical that when you don't have competition, there is no innovation. Not that NASCAR is associated with innovation in any way, shape, or form. But that's what's going to happen. That's At least that's what I see so far. All right, with the weekend off, uh, the Red Bull team is going to converge and try to figure out what's going on. Are they going to keep Brian Vickers? Are they going to switch from Toyotas to Chevys? Are they going to fall under that Hendrick umbrella of the mega teams? And, uh, you know, I look at that. Well, let's look at uh, Brad Kislowski. This is right. a guy who's been rumored, one to Penske, and also now to Red Bull. Uh, but now reports are coming out saying, no, the Red Bull rumors aren't true. But this is a guy who has an opportunity to go anywhere he wants. If I'm him, he wants to stay in that camp with Junior. He falls under that uh, 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 Hendrick umbrella. I think it's with Red Bull. If they do it with Red Bull, it's because of Dietrich Matisic. The guy is a billionaire. He can afford to pay Hendrick's bills. He can afford to subsidize the rest of the Hendrick, Hendricks organization. Why wouldn't Hendricks want him? Hendricks is probably flying over there in the cloak of darkness, begging him to go to Chevrolet. Please come to my house. Please, let's have a glass of wine. Please, <laughs> would you hand me a check for a few million dollars for engines, for the whole thing, whatever, whatever Dietrich wants, Dietrich is going to he is going to get. Yeah, I agree with you on that one. I got to be honest with you. That's what I, I see in this situation is that Dietrich Mattisheets, or however you pronounce his last name. Mattisheets. Because I'll say something else. <laughs> that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> but uh, this is a guy that, uh, you know, can write that check. And I think he ultimately will write that check. And I want to talk about, since we're talking Chevys, talk about RCR a little bit. This is a team 
that is in trouble. They're hurting. We know that Jeff Burton, he doesn't like the double foul restarts. He's been very vocal about that. Yeah, he has. Uh, but I also want to make mention that Kevin Harvick, uh, his contract ends at the end of 2010, but his sponsorship with Shell and the Pennzoil Oil Company ends at the end of this year, and he wants out, and rumors have him going to where? Hendrick. Stuart Haas Racing. Hendrick. I mean, everything, again, it has become three manufacturers, uh, and, and it's going to, I think, ultimately, we're going to end up under an umbrella. And if he leaves RCR, RCR is going to have to break down. I mean, let's face it. You've got Montoya, EGR. They're using uh, some iteration of the RCR engine, not working out quite as well as they would like to it have worked out. But Montoya is sitting ninth, somewhere in that neighborhood, in the points chase. And he's doing it on sheer guts and, and just fighting his way to the top. And he's actually outshining the RCR cars with the same engine, allegedly the same engine. All right, let's talk about something that's on your mind and is big, and it's safety. Safety is a big concern for you, and uh, your thoughts on that because last Absolute week... Absolute abomination. Sam Hornish was in the car, window net was up, wasn't sure what was going on. Your thoughts at that point? I had five fans, I had five people that I know, two of which had never seen a NASCAR race, watch that incident take place, and every one of them said... Why aren't the safety crews going to that car? And they were within clear sight of the wreck, and they're staring at them. That makes absolutely no logical sense Hold to on, me. hold on. I'm going to throw out something here, and this is NASCAR up in the booth being able to listen in to some of those drivers Big and deal. going, okay, the driver's fine. Guys, get out there when you can. He said he's okay. I think that might have been the case because when on TV, I sat there and watched that window net not going down. I thought, man, something's not right. But then I thought NASCAR has to know that he's okay in that vehicle. Ask a number of drivers how many times they've had to extricate themselves out of the car, Agreed. burst into flames, everything is on fire. They're having to get themselves out of the car, and it still burns to the ground before the rescue crews get there. I've heard excuses of liability that these guys that uh, from the tracks themselves are all the ultimate and professionals. Look, they are not trained in each of these drivers. They're not trained to get there quick enough. They're, they're great responders. Hey, if I'm in a car crash on the street, who else am I going to use, right? I don't have a traveling safety crew, but I can guarantee you IndyCar Formula One, traveling safety crew, traveling doctors, they know exactly what that driver needs, and they are there before the car stops moving, which is not the case in NASCAR. NASCAR, you should be ashamed of yourselves. All right. We all know that this is a dangerous sport, no doubt about it. For Michelle Rahal, I'm Rob D'Amico. Thank you for watching.